All right, here we are, guys, for round three of our modern um, tournament series with Teamer Prowess. Uh, we are on the draw. Our opponent kept a seven. We have Island, Misty Rainforest, Double Swiss Spear, Bolt, Probe, Rancor. Excuse me. Um, yep, this hand seems pretty good. Pretty good. Turn one, Swiss Spear. Turn two, Swiss Spear, Rancor, Probe. <laughs> Hopefully our opponent doesn't go turn one, discard. We should be fine. Um, I guess we can't play both of those off of the uh, island, but hey, what do you know? Copperline Gorge, so we take zero damage. Sometimes you run good. I don't know what to say. No, this is actually closer. Um, the other two matches, I think we had pretty underpowered draws both games. This is closer to uh, um, the kinds of draws I've been getting with this deck. Human Visions is interesting. I think we're definitely playing Rancor. So we're gonna play the land first. Drop the Swiss Spear. Inky. Fetch a Steam Dance. Replay Swiss Spear. <laughs> And probe you. All right, deceiver, deceiver, remand. Three lands. It'll be a sad, sad day. If my opponent's able to just like combo me out. Just like luck in luck into the combo when we've got like this really nice start, but deceivers. I mean, deceivers gonna let him gonna buy him some time. Um, I think unless he just drew the combo, I think he would block a Swiss spear with one of his deceivers. Um, but we'll see. I can rancor, but he's just gonna tap down the guy that I rancor twice. So I don't think I want to do that. Um, I think I'd much rather just like go into combat, see what he does, and then. Uh, like you know play either double bolt his deceiver if he doesn't block because I don't want him to go for it well I guess I could just wait we'll see we'll see what he does I don't know yep so he blocks that one not respecting bolt at all I think he has to block maybe maybe he doesn't care because he doesn't he has another deceiver so he doesn't think we have another um, bolt I don't know cast your visions first Drew a goif. We have an abbot and another serum visions. That's interesting. Um, we're gonna play Grim Lava Mancer here, and I guess, yeah, we set both of those on top. We want to draw the abbot. This is a pretty good draw. Not hitting a not hitting a land past turn three. It's pretty solid. Bolt of Swift Spear. He's got another Deceiver. I don't know. Maybe we wanted the. Uh, maybe we wanted the Serum Visions. Because here we're going to waste a mana. Here we're going to Bolt his Deceiver and Lava Mancer to finish it off. So we kind of wasted a mana where we could have Serum Visions this turn. I feel like leaving Serum Visions on top would have been a lot better. Because now we're going to draw an Abbot that we can't cast. 
I guess we could cast, but it seems pretty risky if he finds twin. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill it while I can. Yeah, so that was yeah, that was a wasted mana. We'll see if it comes back to bite me. Um, we want to keep our Tarmogoyf large. He's got a land and a redundant bolt. So the cool thing is the Serum Visions can like set a land that we can uh, find with our Abbot, which is pretty good. We'll do that first. See if our opponent's gonna like try and kill the Swiss Spear. Um. We just need to try and decide if we're playing the Abbot. I guess we're dead to third Deceiver plus twin. We can kill a Pestermite. We could always just play Goyf here and then like next turn play Abbot, grab the land. But I feel like grabbing the land and being able to use it immediately with Grimlomancer is better than waiting on it. Yeah, so I think we want to play Abbot. I'm gonna do this, see what's on the top of his deck, get a little bit more information. Maybe if he has twin, we're like not going to want to tap out. Or like if we see twin on the top of his deck or something. And Dillion click. get the land but we're gonna have to shuffle away the goy if it was a misty rainforest which means we have to fetch up another steam vents or a stomping ground um, I actually want to get stomping ground just because I have both of these green spells that I want to be able to cast and another red source would be fine too here's to hoping I set them right pretty sure I did Oh no! That's terrifying. Now we have to draw. Now we have to draw that. That's gross. Hopefully it doesn't have twin. Well, we know he's drawing a Vendillion click. Which means he would have had to have drawn twin. I mean, he's had a few draws to find it. But like, one of them was a Pestermite, one of them was a Spell Snare, one of them was a Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I don't think he drew it. Well, I guess this means we're finding we're getting another Tarmog Wave. Play this. Cast that. That's fine. Yeah, we get to kill his uh, Pestermite, and I think we're winning this race. <laughs> hey, upgrade. Um, so a creature, 
And the serum visions. Oops. Yep, and I'll trade. I'll trade all day. Interesting, I wonder if I wanna tap out to tr just try and force the trade because right there he might be like, well, I can't trade with him because, or I mean, I can't block because he could cast the thing and, oh, but he's seen my hand. I don't know. I wonder if I'm tapped out if he's more likely to block and I want him to block, so then that's the decision that I make. So it's either breeding pool or stomping ground. I think having, yeah, the second green is easily better. Well, I'm gonna have the green each, Never mind. that's not right. It was whether I wanted the third red or the third blue. And I think with one thing needing red, that means that the having the third red source is slightly better, but I don't think it matters. When you try and say something and you just come out sounding completely stupid, So Grim Lava Mance are good against Twin, turns out. It's actually relevant. It lets me cast both of these uh, Goyves and shoot down his Vendiling click. So let's see how he scryed. Bottom, bottom. They have a deceiver. I feel so powerless. My opponent holds my heart in his hands at the beginning of every combat step. I don't know, yeah. I don't want to fetch here because then I go to six and I'm dead to bolt, snapcaster, bolt. Um, I don't need a third Tarmogoyf. That's just that's just silly talk. What's he thinking about? So we saw two Tarmogoyf, so he doesn't know what this card is. targeting himself. So looking for another bolt. I mean, if he's targeting himself, he either has the land or like the red source and he's looking for a second bolt or he has got the red source and he's looking, or he's got the bolt and he's looking for the red source. Maybe, I don't know. because a roast doesn't deal with this. Maybe he's just looking for a deceiver to tap one down. I guess he could be looking for a lot of things. So, this is interesting. I guess I can go to combat.
Yeah, play the Swiss Spear. And then go to combat first. Alright, so he has a Deceiver. He taps down a Goyf. That means he has to block the other Goyf if I blow up his click, so we're going to do that. Um, he has a Sorcery, right? Yeah, he's got a Visions. All right, dispels are good. Negate is good. Deprives are good. Spell Skite is good. Sadcaster is pretty sweet against Vendillion Click. I don't think I need it though. Um, the Rancor can go. The Seal of Fire can go. Um, Vapor Snag is sweet. Lava Master could probably go. He did work in that game, but. Um, I actually don't know if I want the Jataxian probes. This is interesting. So basically, I I give him trouble because I have a lot of ways to disrupt his combo uh, between like the Vapor Snag and these counter spells, um, and the spell doesn't. So I have two deprives and a gate and two remands, which is actually five counter spells. Six if we are keeping the in the as a charm to stop his combo um as counter spells and then i have like two spell skites and these vapor snacks so it's gonna be really hard for him to combo off against me um so he i would guess wants to control me but that's also going to be difficult as well um just because a lot of his control elements are counter spells which won't really help against uh like my early creatures that i'm going to be able to get on the field underneath his counter spells i think monastery swiss Spear becomes like one of the best cards against him um, which means I really don't want to be cutting like these cheap card draw, but I can't keep everything. It might be possible that Abbott isn't where I want to be in this matchup, just because I don't want to be casting that much mana sorcery speed if it's not like a huge threat that's going to end the game in a couple turns like Tarmogoyf. So I actually think I cut the Abbots here. That makes me really, really threat light, but I should be fine. I don't know. I'm gonna try it like this. I mean, my reasoning for not wanting the Abbots, I guess is solid, but This hand's great. I just need to find my second land. I can cast a spear with Dispel back up and start chipping away. I guess the good news is that it's really hard for him to answer a Tarmogoyf once it hits the field. Especially because um, I have, like, I'm very well suited to make my Tarmogoyf a uh, 5 6 or a 6 7. So like even his narrow answer like roast, which is often it takes forever for him to find, um, won't even be good enough once he finds it. So he scried bottom bottom. We drew a land. Uh, we have one vapor snag. I don't think we need another one. We're just looking for more land. Um, so I'll bottom that. Keep this. We'll draw the bobble. We'll fetch a stomping ground. Nah, I don't think we want green. We'll fetch a steam vents so we can pay for deprive. Is Serum Visions. Okay. 
Probe's a pretty good draw. He didn't play a land, which makes me think that either he doesn't have Dispel um, for like my Spell Snare. I guess he doesn't have Dispel in hand. I don't know. We'll see. I have to be careful not to take too much damage here, but I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. Alright, Electrolyze, Spell Snare. Visions falls. Um, I think I can pay two more life. This lets me like fetch a breeding pool tapped, which is the same thing. Like I, I get that life back and. I think I think you can say that I get that life back in a sense. I can't really like spend a blue on this Chitaxian probe and then like fetch uh a breeding pool tapped at end of turn because he'll just electrolyze in response to the fetch. He just wants to be able to cast that electrolyze, kill a thing, and like cycle it when he can. Like I imagine he goes for it here because to spell is the only thing I have. I guess I could vapor snag it again, but he's fine. If, like he's oh he's happy if I'm vapor snagging my own creature because that's one less vapor snag to use on his deceiver going for the combo. So this is good for me. So he has a spell snare. I did not pay attention to the other cards in his hand, and I should have. Um, we're getting a green source. I think we need all the blue we can get. So we can Snapcaster Probe again. Fetch another island, so that drops us to eight. That gets more. That gets more stuff out on the board. We can hold up this deprive. Yeah, I think I want to do that. But I don't think I can go much lower than, than 8. Yeah, 2 remand spell spellstone. This is what I was talking about. So he has all these control elements, but most of them are counter spells, which doesn't help him against my creatures that I have on the board and I'm well suited to protect my creatures from removal. Like you saw, I was able to dispel his three mana electrolyze to kill the Swiss Spear and then just vapor snag his roast and I'm just still beating him with the one Swiss Spear who's done seven damage at this point. Um, while he's tapped out, I'm going to cast this. That was a good draw. Yep, yeah, I think this is a pretty bad matchup for my opponent. He just has all those counter spells in hand and it's not going to help him. Yep. So that was that. Um, it was a pretty quick win. Um, so yeah, uh, like I just said, um, this matchup seems pretty good for me just because I'm able to uh, get out some quick threats. And uh, if I was playing, I guess like it's different when you're playing this matchup when you're like playing it from the Grixis control side um, because you don't have a lot of threats and while you might be able to land a turn two Tassiger, uh, often um, your creatures come much later. Um, and for anybody that's played the matchup, they know how backbreaking a turn two Tassiger is against Twin, just because if you can slide it in under their counter magic, they don't have a lot of answers uh, once it hits the field. Um, and if you're able to you know, sit back and protect your creatures um, with counter spells and things like Vapor Snag, uh, which basically acts as a counter spell, especially with Monastery Swiss Spear having haste. I don't even have to take a turn off from attacking. Um, this just shows how difficult it is for um, the twin control deck to be able to control the game. Um, 
and this is I guess a, a good a good I don't know what evidence uh, good evidence of why um, twin struggles against uh, Delver decks um, when the Delver decks get to land their Delver um, obviously when you don't find Delver um, those decks operate much differently um, but yeah so all in all um, went two and two and one um, the deck seems really fun it's a lot of fun to play uh, we lost to Jund which seems like a pretty even matchup um, probably a little unfavorable for us um, and we, we already talked about why but yeah the decks uh, the deck's sweet if um, you have any questions or if you noticed uh, something that I did wrong that I didn't catch definitely let me know in the comments um, if anybody has uh, played this deck and can offer up some insight and advice I would love to hear it um, I'm going to be playing this deck a lot more um, I'm not gonna put it down because it's a lot of fun to play and I think I'll probably be playing it on stream so for those that uh, haven't checked out my stream you can do that at twitch TV slash architect underscore gaming um, and I also write articles uh, weekly on modern Nexus, so you can read those too and that's that thanks for hanging out guys and have a good one